Hey you guys, I hope that you're all doing great. I send you all much love and light. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot. If it's your first time to my channel, thank you so much and welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back you guys. And we're gonna take a look and see what are their current feelings for you. So these will be just quick messages for everyone. I'll have each sign timestamp below so you can just jump straight to your sign if that's something that you wanna do. So we're gonna take a look and see into your person's energy and their current feelings for you all right you guys so um thank you so much again for being here with me i sent you much love and light and let's just jump right into your reading it's gonna be in no particular order it's whatever whichever sign i feel called to jump to so you guys can certainly click on the time stamps all right but before i begin i just want to take a moment So I think the first sign that we'll start with is Cancer. Happy birthday again. I know it's almost the end of Cancer season. So let's start with Cancer and see how do they currently feel about you, Cancer? So I see some Sagittarius energy around you guys. I wonder if you are dealing with the Sagittarius or if you have that in your chart. Well, I know that someone here misses you so much. Uh, Leo's energy is here as well, Cancer. So again, same thing. You might have that in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that does. I mean, they feel like they're just here waiting for you. Waiting um, very patiently, in fact. I, I know that what they want is this chance to be able to be a part of things again. I wonder if some of you are, are watching this and thinking of a friend, um, a friendship, because I do see that energy here as well. And it's the same thing, whether it's a friend or it's someone romantic, they miss you and they feel like they're just longing to be a part of things. They, I wonder if they feel like you've shut them out like maybe you need more time. And I know that that makes them feel like they don't know if you're still fighting for this, if this is something that you still want. But I know that they really wanna be embraced by you. They're still thinking of what you guys could have together, what you could make together. If this is your best friend, I know that, that's funny, because if this is your friend, I know that they look at you as a best friend. They look at you as a kindred spirit, okay? So I know there's a lot of messages coming through for someone who has a friend on their mind. And for those of you that are obviously watching this um, for romantic energy, it's like having all of that wrapped into one connection. Because you see how that angel has those two of cups in their hand? I know that they feel you're a blessing in their life. I know that they feel that they're just here waiting to um, get things on the right track, go down the right path. And I say that because I see where there's a lot of anxiety around your person. A lot of anxiety. I wonder if you guys have been dealing with any kind of jealousy. Because I just see where there's so many people involved that have something to say that have an opinion, that have feelings about things. And it's like, they feel like um, it's these people that are coming between you guys, whether it's friends, other friends, whether it's family. For some of you, um, there's these jealousies of romantic competition. And because there are those kinds of jealousies, I know that it's like this energy of longing, longing for you to pull them closer. That would make them incredibly happy because I know where they feel like maybe I need to treat you better and, and you treat me better. So there's, they're starting to think a lot about things that maybe they could have done differently. But they have a lot of questions about how you feel about them. They have a lot of questions on do you want to just are we going to fight for this? Are we going to keep fighting each other? That's that's what they're thinking, that's what they're feeling. 
So I know where they feel like they've been um, pushed out, like they're not a part of things and they're longing, really longing to come back. They don't want to lose the connection to you, whether it's friendship or whether it's romance, they do not want to lose you. All right, so that's really, really important for you guys to know that is in their energy. And I just see here where they don't wanna fight and they wish they could take back whatever it is that they said that hurt you. Cause I see a lot of um, energy that's like a sharp tongue that's here and they, they wanna take that back. So ultimately offer an apology, really just looking for a way for the two of you to come back together in like a peaceful way to make amends, to almost just be on the same page, to both recognize um, your part in things equally. Because I wonder if, if you feel like some of this is your energy. If you feel like some of this is your energy, it's really important for you to know that that does not change how this person is feeling. They still feel this way. It might make you realize that both of you actually feel the same way about things. So if you feel the same way and you're waiting for someone else to take responsibility, it's just going to keep going around and around and around and around. That's why I know this person's energy is like, can we just get on the same page? Can we just see eye to eye? Let, let's not fight against each other. Let's fight together. Let's stick together. All right, so I know that they would love to hear from you. I know that they miss you and that they are kind of just hearing, waiting to hear from you so they can know um, whether or not they can take that step forward. All right, Cancer, so that is what I can see in your person's energy for how they are currently feeling. And let's move on to Sagittarius, all right? Let's see what we can see. Sagittarius, how is your person currently feeling about you? What is on their mind? How do they look at this connection to you? Let's see into their current feelings. So I see some Leo energy around you guys. So you might have Leo in your chart or this person that you have on your mind might have Leo in their chart. I see where this person has a lot of pride, right? But I also know how special this connection is. They kind of feel like, are you letting your pride stand between us and our connection? That that's that's funny because I wonder if you feel that way about them too because I see because you know there's gonna be a lot of mirroring in a connection like that. You guys have something really special here, kindred spirits, um, feeling like you're best friends, lovers, whether you're together or apart. Because I see where many of you might even be apart from this person. Um, they feel like. I guess if you are asking for more time, then I'll give you more time because they they feel like you don't want to move forward with them. Like you're in this energy of maybe needing space, needing a break. And they honestly just feel like, is that really true? Or are you just letting like your pride and ego speak for you? And don't get me wrong, Sagittarius, I'm not saying that you are, but from this person's perspective, they keep wondering why do you not want us to be together? Because when we're together, we can make something so beautiful. So I know that they feel like you're denying the connection a lot. Maybe you're even listening to those around you because I just see this energy of people who have a stake they have a stake in, in your connection for some reason. I know it's probably because they're close to you and they care about you. And I know where your person is thinking like, are you listening to yourself or are you listening to what others have to say and what others think? 
and don't get me wrong i'm not implying that you are but like your person is thinking that like the interference from others is keeping the two of you apart keeping you from embracing uh the beautiful connection that they feel you still believe in it they feel like you still believe in the connection like you do want to be together um but what is getting in the way they can't figure it out they can't so if you feel like you've been clear about why you need space the way that it comes across to your person it, it's unclear still and especially for those of you who don't feel this way who want to hear from your person who do not want space from them you might want to you might want to rethink how you're coming across because what i can see in your person's energy is like they they're not sure if if you ever want to move forward they're they just feel like you need space that maybe you don't want to hear from them and they just wonder like where all of that stems from feeling like other people are getting in the way they feel like why do you always have to play it so cool i know who you are you don't need to try and always put your um best face on for me why can't you just um be honest with me that's that's what they're thinking that's how they feel that you're letting your pride get the best of you and and i they feel like your pride is getting the best of you and like the two of you are really being gypped out of a connection that's so special so it's important for you to know what you mean to them they look at you as someone who's who is their person is supposed to be their person their best friend their lover someone that they feel very comfortable about opening up to and being very honest with and they want you to feel the same way as well they just feel like why do you always have to like act like everything is so perfect all the time even when they can sense that it's not because the two of you in these kinds of connections will definitely be able to pick up on the other one's feelings even if you try to put on a happy face it's like they can feel the energy underneath it's because they feel like they know you so well and they feel like they are incredibly close to you and what they want is for the two of you to get back to that beautiful connection that you once had where you really saw eye to eye with one another so that's what i can see here um, if you don't want space, Sagittarius, it's important for you to know that the way that you're coming across is like you need space. So if you if they're not talking to you as much, or you're not hearing from them as much, it's because they feel like that's what you want. Like maybe you need a need a break from them. But in their heart, like all they're waiting to do is like be able to see you guys come back together where you see eye to eye again and you're on the same page again so there's there's truly a love that's here and for those of you that are separated from this person like I can see they still love you they do and that's really important for you to know they're thinking of like who um is there competition is what you know what can i do to get my person to like recognize me again so they have a lot of emotion a lot of thoughts of you clearly and still do love you all right sagittarius so that's what i can see for you guys in your person's energy now let's move on to aries let's see aries what is going on with your person and what are their current feelings for you? What is on their mind? What is in their hearts? How do they feel about you and this connection? lot of initials are coming through um m 
B and J, all right? So that might be significant to some of you watching. You have someone here that is so in love with you. I mean, they feel like you are the love of their life. They look at you as the one and the only one. I can see where they are in so deep that they even feel like they make a fool out of themselves at times with just being like because this person is someone who continues to swallow their pride when it comes to you will swallow their pride when it comes to you and i can see where they just like have all of these romantic and very loving feelings for you and i know that they want to be able to sweep you off of your feet i see where they want to pursue you they they're very excited about the connection to you and they just feel like it's so hard to figure you out. Like they're, you're very, you're, it's like your mystery is very alluring to this person. And what they're hoping is um, that maybe you can feel the same way, that maybe you can love them back the way that they love you, and that you will be willing to take a chance with your heart as well because i know that this is someone who trusts you they trust you their heart is open and this is someone who is looking for love and if if they feel like you feel the same way there's not going to be anything stopping them from rolling this ahead someone in this kind of energy is ready they're ready for a commitment they're ready to achieve all of those beautiful milestones because truly their energy is like i i want you i want your love in my life and i'm just willing to humble myself is this what you want can you see yourself being with me can you see yourself being with me long term can you see yourself marrying me because i can see myself marrying you truly this is someone who whose love is just it's free flowing and it's something that they don't want to I don't see how they can hide this from you because I know that they feel like they keep putting themselves on the line so you understand just how serious they are. And they just feel like you keep holding back, that you haven't really shown your vulnerable side just yet. And they feel like with what they know about you, the the special thing about this person's energy is like you may feel like they've shown you everything like every side to them but i know that once this person feels like you're on the same page with them and that you want the same things and like your heart is open there's a whole different side to this person that you haven't seen and i mean that in the most positive way because this is someone who's just waiting to show you so much more of what's in their heart and really like their heart belongs to you so it's really important for you guys to know that if you're questioning if they're sincere they absolutely are their intentions are to to just see where this can go how far they can take it this is someone who has fallen head over heels in love and they look at you as their person so um it's like your allure and your mystery oh maybe are you playing hard to get with this person because if you are that is something that makes them even more curious about you even more excited about you but what they feel is real what's in their heart is real and they feel like to be able to be with you would be a major blessing so there's so much attraction here there's so much love that is here and this person truly is just a fool in love. And I don't say that to be insulting at all because I know that they would do anything for you. So that's really important for you to know. All right, Aries, so that's what I can see. You have someone who is deeply, deeply in love with you and just wants you to take a chance with your heart on them as well all right you guys so let's move on to virgo virgo let's take a look and see what is going on in your person's energy how do they currently feel about you how do they look at you how do they look at this connection to you? let's see 
what their current feelings are. So I can see Leo's energy coming around. So I wonder if you guys have Leo in your chart or if this person has Leo in their chart. They're in this energy of like, kind of having to accept things for how they are. Um, to a certain extent, they feel like you are really leading this connection and that where the next step goes is up to you. I know that they've, th um, if you've kept this person at bay, cause that's how they feel. I know where they've spent a lot of time thinking about what did I do wrong? Like, why can't I get closer to this person? Why won't they let me in? So I know where they've, dealt with a lot of guilt and even a lot of feeling rejected, feeling like um, looking at themselves and being very hard on themselves and wondering what they could have done differently. What's important for you to know, especially for those of you that are maybe just getting to know this person, haven't truly let them in, they feel like they have tried and tried and tried to get you to kind of like them, to open up to them. I can see where this person is looking for closure now because they're in this energy of just accepting. Accepting if you don't feel that same spark with them. Accepting that, you know, they can't make you do anything. They can't make you feel any other way than you feel. So they've dealt with a lot of, a lot of inner turmoil when it comes to this. And I'm not saying that so you can feel bad. I just, I just feel like this energy might be unrequited on your behalf. Virgo, you know, maybe you don't feel the same way about this person. What's important for you to know is like they're they're coming to terms with it. They're accepting it. Like, well, if you don't feel the same way and everything is going to be in your hands, I'm just going to have to accept that this is how you feel because I can see where they're mustering up a lot of inner strength to kind of um, get over it. So if you are maybe thinking about an ex and you wonder how they still feel for you, I can see where they are, if they haven't already, very close to letting go and just like accepting that it's not going to move forward. Um, I, I know that they would like it to because with this Gemini energy here, they feel like, why are you missing out on something that could be so beautiful? Like, why won't you just let this connection flourish? Why can't we just see where it can go? I know that they love you and that love is very real. It's very sincere, but they're in the energy of like acceptance. Well, if you don't feel the same way and you don't want to be with me, this is not something that I'm gonna keep fighting for. I'm not gonna keep fighting myself over it. I'm not gonna keep beating myself up. They've, they've gone under a lot of stress trying to figure things out and they've, um, They've lost a lot of sleep, but I can see where there's like this energy of a shift of like accepting, accepting if you don't feel the same way or you don't want to be with them or you're not as attracted to them. They're like, you know what? It's something that I'm just going to have to close that chapter. I'm going to have to just let it go. I've been holding on to this for so long, holding on to it so tightly. And if you don't feel the same way, then then I accept that. I still love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wish we could be together. But if it's not what you want, um, then I accept it. So this is really important because I see someone who's ready to close out a cycle, a chapter in their life. And if you don't want to lose this person, Virgo, if you don't want them to let you go like this, if you don't want them to 
truly believe that it's unrequited because that's how they feel. If, if, if you don't feel that way, it's going to be really important for you to express that to this person, to open up to them. If you, if for whatever reason you feel like you can't embrace this, but you know deep down that it is something special, I mean, it's definitely worth opening up to this person and telling them what's on your mind, what's in your heart, especially if you don't want to lose them, especially if you know that you tend to push people away. If you know that you might tend to sabotage things, I mean, I would say to open up to this person because I know that what they feel for you, they wish you felt it for them. They wish you felt this spark, like this chemistry, these fireworks that they feel. They wish that you felt as attracted to them as they are to you. So of course they look at you as someone who is incredibly, incredibly special. So what I can see here is, is like a warning. If you don't wanna lose this person, it'll be important for you to open up because they're right at the cusp like right at right at the end of a cycle and they will close it out only be not because not because um they don't love you they do love you but it's a, like they're saying how long can i hold on how long can i feel bad about this how long can i just be all alone um in my feelings Okay, so so I see someone who's ready to really let go. And if you don't want that, Virgo, it'll be important that you um, get in touch with this person, talk to them about what it is that you feel and what it is that you fear or maybe what it is that you're... Because I say fear and I say hesitation because these lovers are coming in reversed. So, I mean, it's definitely worth talking to them. And if you talk to them, oh my God, they would just listen to everything that you had to say. This this person, um, they truly care for you and they, they would listen, they care about your well-being. Okay, so you do have here um, something that is very special and if you don't want this person to accept, accept it for what it is and, and truly distance themselves, I know that they're waiting for you to let them know that it's something that you could want and that you could see yourself having with them as well. All right, Virgo, so that is what I can see in your person's energy. So let's move on to Gemini, all right, Gemini? Let's take a look and see, Gemini, what is going on with your person? What are their current feelings? What do they think of you? How do they look at you? How do they truly feel? So I see some Taurus energy coming through and Leo as well, Gemini. So you might have that in your chart or this person could have that in their chart. They feel incredibly drawn to you. I mean, it's almost like they feel like they've been struck. They've been struck and like something has come over them that they really don't even understand. Honestly, they don't. They don't understand why can't I stop thinking about this person? What has this person done to me? Um, you're stirring up feelings in them that they're figuring out what to do with all of these feelings. I can see where this person thinks of you. I mean, first thought in their mind when they wake up all throughout the day so they'll see something it reminds them of you i mean they're thinking about you all the time that they're like i need to i can't focus like someone will be talking to them or like they're they're you know watching a movie or they're listening to a lecture or whatever and 
their mind just drifts it wanders into thinking about you they could be um in a meeting at work and their mind is not on that meeting their mind is on you do you see all of these thoughts and when that energy comes in reverse it's like they have to consciously tell themselves all right you need to think about something else stop thinking about this gemini they feel um just incredibly incredibly drawn to you like you've ignited something in them that they feel very excited they feel different they feel awakened and i know that they're thinking about what the two of you could make together they're thinking about having all of those traditional things with you you know there's not going to be any gray areas because i see their intentions towards you and it is to have something that is very traditional however that speaks to you but i know to them it's like okay you're mine and I'm yours. We're together. We're in an exclusive relationship. And I can see where they're thinking about everything you guys could have, like down the road, um, meeting friends, meeting family. They are thinking about having something serious with you because they're crazy about you. And I know that they just feel like it's so exciting. They feel so much chemistry. And this is someone who... You really have them like right in the palm of your hand. I don't say that to like, you know, let let you know that you can like manipulate them or take advantage of their feelings. I just want you to know how crazy this person is about you and how like all their pride is just out the door. You know, they just, they are really crazy about you. And I can see where their overall energy is like, you make them feel better. You make them feel like, wow, I didn't know that I could feel this way. And now that I'm looking at this Gemini, I'm not really looking at the past anymore. I'm not really thinking about what it is that hurt me, who it is that betrayed me, what it is that this last person said to me that hurt me so deeply. You make them feel so much better. And I wonder if this is, I don't think this person has had many relationships. I, I think they've had um significant relationships whether it's like one major relationship or maybe just a couple throughout their whole life with you because i know where they normally um move things along very slowly but with you the energy is so different you make them feel different you make them want to just like go full speed ahead into a relationship and they are hoping that you want the same thing as well. They can't get you off of their mind. And I mean, needless to say, the spark that they feel, it's on so many different levels. They're thinking about you. They're fantasizing about you. They're daydreaming about what the two of you could do together. Yes, like the activities, but also like the sexual energy and chemistry. They are so attracted to you. But it's it's not all physical because I know where they're with all of these thoughts that they have, they're thinking about the romance, they're thinking about the passion, they're thinking about um yes, the physical side, but then being able to actually have a commitment with you to get to know you, to get to know you even more. So I mean they what they feel for you, it's very, very positive. So I'm happy to see that they are so crazy about you. It definitely puts a smile on my face. So I'm sure that hearing it is something that makes you feel very flattered. It's very, very flattering energy that is around you guys. All right, Gemini. So that is what I can see in your person's energy for how they are currently feeling about you. So let's move on to Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see. How is your person currently feeling about you Pisces what do they think of you and this connection to you what is on their mind what is in their heart let's see what spirit shows us So I see Sagittarius energy around you, Pisces. So you might have that in your chart. 
or your person could. You might even be dealing with another Pisces because I see that energy here or your person could have Pisces in their chart. Something has dawned on this person. Something has clicked. If you have been waiting for your person to kind of wake up and see things differently, I know that there's like this energy here of someone who's come a long way, maybe in their maturity, but it's like being around you now, they see the connection differently. If this is someone new, you make them feel like, wow, I never saw things from that perspective before. But it's like a whole new, very, very positive change in mindset which is good because it's like a relief of this stagnant energy. I can see where they feel like they're finally getting what they've waited for. I wonder if in the connection, you guys are in a better place, a better place than you've been recently. Cause I see where like this, it's new. It's, it's a new feeling like this whole new sense of motivation and enthusiasm has come over your person. So whatever this is that you guys have been working on, or whatever this is that you talked about, they've had a lot of growth and they really see things from your perspective. I know that what they want is you and I know that what they want is to like have a fresh start. For some reason now they feel like the trust has been rebuilt. They feel like, um, I feel like I can open up my heart. I feel like I just want to embrace my person and have them fully embrace me because I know that it's going to be okay. I know that it's going to be safe. So I see a lot of energy here for those of you that have been in a connection and maybe have been working on things. And for those of you that this person is new or you're just uh, getting to know them, you definitely um, make them see the world differently, see life differently. And I say the world, it's funny because the world card is here. You, you make them see things differently and they feel like a sense of wholeness around you. Like you make them feel like, yeah, everything is okay. Everything is safe. I can take a chance with my heart. This is someone who I know you guys might have been together for a while but I see them falling in love, like falling in love. So it could be for the first time or it could be deeper. It could be deeper because they feel like it's okay to do it. They feel like you're putting in a lot of effort towards them. And I know that's something that makes them blossom, makes them feel like it's okay. So what if you've been doing special things for this person, Pisces trying to get them to maybe realize something about you, it definitely has worked because they it's kind of like they're seeing maybe even what they had the whole time. Maybe you felt like they've taken you for granted before because I just see this sense of enlightenment, like looking at things differently, looking at you differently. And it is really in the most positive way. I wonder if some of you have been with this person and just felt like maybe you always liked them more, maybe you loved them more. I can see now where the two of you, like your feelings are finally catching up because they just, they're in, they're in love. They're in love and they feel safe. They feel excited. And they feel like um, that they're finally getting back everything, everything that they put in. It's funny to say that because I wonder if you feel that way about them. I wonder how much mirroring really goes on between the two of you. Because I see that this energy like cuts both ways, so to speak. Because I, I know that you might feel like, yes, finally they're they're like opening up to me. Finally, I see that they recognize what I'm actually saying, that they're actually listening. 
but I know with the way that they feel you've been working hard at this and been so excited about them, I, I know to a certain extent that's something that they've always wanted to see from you as well. So I see that you guys are in a really good place. It's um, feeling like everything is right, everything is whole, and because it is, you can just like rise above anything negative because this is really like rising to a higher vibration. Um, Libra energy is here as well, you guys. So this person might have Libra in their chart or you might have Libra in your chart, Pisces. But I know that they want to take a chance. They want a fresh start. And what's on their mind is how positive everything could really be with the two of you. So a lot of positive energy around your person for how they feel about you, Pisces. All right, you guys. So let's move on to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Let's take a look and see, Capricorn, what is going on with your person? How do they feel about you and this connection to you? What is in their heart? How do they look at you? What is on their mind? Let's ask for them to show us. Scorpio energy is coming through Capricorn. So you might have that in your chart or your person might. So I, I see where someone might need some reassurance here. So I know that your person has a lot of respect for you, right? They look at you as someone, I just, I know I say it quite often in the readings, but I really love this energy, Nine of Pentacles, because this is like the person that just has everything going for them. It's, it's a catch, it is a catch. They have health, they have uh, a brain, they're intelligent, you know what I mean? They're well-spoken, they're classy, they dress nice, they smell nice, they look nice. Um, they just attract attention wherever they go. They have just this energy of um, abundance. That doesn't necessarily have to mean money. It's just like a, like bubbly and outgoing even like fertility, you know, I I know that when they look at you, they see all of this. They see like the good looks that you have. They see the beauty that you have, but it's also like your nature and being so independent and like you don't really need anyone. Like you have this personality that they love. So I know that you must need to hear that and be reassured because I know that this is how your person looks at you, but they feel like, why are you being so hard on me? Why are you, why do you think that nothing has changed? Why are you putting me in this place where I feel like I, I can't make a move forward? Like I really have to walk on eggshells. I, I know that they feel like you're being too hard on them about something capricorn and and it leaves them in this place where they're like i don't know what to say everything i say i i i mess it up i don't know what to say to you i know how i feel i hope that they can express all of this to you they might not be the the best at like using their words to express but that's why i know that someone here needs to hear just how special they are because this is someone who's unique a person like this just doesn't come across every day that is like the full package with everything to offer it's um outer beauty of course but it's also personality it's also um who you are as a person so i know that it's important for you to hear that because you may feel like do you not see everything that i am but they do. That, that's what you have to know is that they do. You complete them. You complete them. But they just wonder like, is it always going to be this way? Are you always going to 
um, judge me like this, judge me harshly. I wonder what has happened. I know for all, for some of you, you might be holding things against this person that you've gone through outside of this connection. Maybe you don't realize that you are, but I can see where they feel like you are. And for those of you that have had um, certain things come between you and this person, and you know exactly what this is and why you feel this way and why you are kind of like always on top of them because you don't because you want to prevent something from happening again they are like okay well when it when when are you going to see that that's not going to happen again when are you going to see that things have changed and they're not going to go back to the way that they used to be okay capricorn i mean there's a there's a like a huge plight a huge plight coming from your person to just um to just like be easier with them because i know where they feel like they want to be released um not from you but from maybe accusations or suspicions because they want you to know how complete they feel like you are the the total package so i know where they're in this energy of wanting to like rise above like rise to a higher vibration put things in the past i know that that might not be easy but i also know that your person like there's a true plight coming from them to um express to you how they look at you and how they look at you as someone who's very rare very different like no one's gonna compare to you you have you have like you check off every box so i know that their energy now is um wanting you to know that but then also wishing that things don't keep being held against them because they truly do feel like i don't know what to say everything that i say i feel like it backfires and i keep saying the wrong thing all right capricorn so there's definitely something to think about in this energy maybe you don't realize that you are being too hard on them especially if they're not good at expressing to you how they feel this is how they feel about the circumstances right now to let you know that you know we've risen above a lot and it's not going to go back everything that we've overcome it's not going to um get between us again all right capricorn so that is what i can see in your person's energy now let's move on to leo leo let's take a look and see um let's take a look and see how how do they currently feel about you leo what is on their minds what is in their heart how do they look at you what do they think of you let's see what spirit shows us So I see some Taurus energy coming through Leo. So you might have that in your chart or this person could have that in their chart. Virgo is here as well and Scorpio. So, so same Scorpio, Virgo and Taurus energy all around you guys. If you don't have it in your chart, this person that you have on your mind might. I know that they feel like, man, like a huge disappointment i think they feel disappointed within themselves there's a lot of energy here of something that came to an end and it looks very very serious to me or maybe this person just wanted something really serious with you and they felt like they messed it up um for those of you that were married to this person engaged to this person they're, they're thinking about you, their energy is here. And now even more special, for those of you that were not, they like made a vow in their heart to you 
they are they made a devotion to you in their heart and i know where they feel like they messed it up they feel like i didn't work hard enough at this i didn't do enough i didn't show enough i know that they've um been thinking a lot about their mistakes if you are separated from this person that period of separation has been very very enlightening for them because it's like they took the time to really think about what they could have done differently they've grown a lot even if it hasn't been a significant amount of time that you guys have been apart not everyone um needs all of this time to realize it could even be like a few days a week that you've been apart from this person for others of you it could be um a few months it could be a year what it doesn't matter this person has really thought about things and has grown and I know where they're coming. They're out of this energy now because they've learned from their mistakes. Because they've learned from their mistakes, I know that they want another chance um, to try again, to put in more effort than they ever have. In the time that you guys have been apart, for those of you that have been apart, they just look they just look at their time with you as one of the best times of their life. They look at you as someone who like just brought out the child in them. You guys, they feel like you had so many beautiful adventures and experiences. So they are certainly not holding any grudges against you. All of this disappointment is, is how they feel about themselves. This is turn inward and feeling like I messed things up. I let this person get away from me. I let this beautiful person get away from me that could have I mean, I could have been so happy with them. I know that they had a lot of fantasies. Um, and it's like now, now they're thinking about it could have been this way. It could have been that way. We, Because there's a lot of energy here of children. So I know that for some of you, it's the way that they're picturing like this could have been the mother or father of my children and I just let them get away from me. I just ruined it. I should have offered them something serious. I should have been more of a stable person. I should have worked harder. So there is a lot of um, regret in this person's energy. I know that they're gonna kick themselves for a long time about this, if not forever, because this really is like the one that got away. That's how they feel about you. Leo, but it is important for you to know just how much this person has changed. They're, they're going to be different. When you talk to them again, when you hear from them again, they're not going to be the same because they're not the same. I see that energy of them being out of that period of growth, spiritual growth, reflection. So that's really important for you to know. They just wonder, have they ruined things too much? Um, or will they get a chance? Will they get a chance to show you what they've learned and who they are, who they've become? They, they have a lot of questions about that. I know how much they want it, but a lot of the questions here are like, if you want it. If you've recently heard from this person, It's just important for you to know um, how much they've changed. All right, Leo? Because, you know, it's not like I'm on their side, but I do have to give them respect where their respect is due. I do wonder what happened, because I know that there's a lot of emotion here. And maybe you were um, counting on them to show you a more serious side, thinking that things were going to be thinking of this beautiful outcome that should have been i see that energy here from your end from their end as well and then just feeling like it was it was never where it was supposed to be i thought we were gonna gonna get married and be together or have something serious maybe even start a family because there's all of that energy is here and there's just a lot of needing to accept because i wonder if they put you in a position leo where you just kind of have to accept 
um, the way that they were. And I, I know that many of you probably chose to distance yourself from this person. So it so there's a lot of messages coming through, a, a huge plight, a huge plight from them that you know how much they've changed and how much they've thought about things, that they're more mature now. They look at the connection differently. They look at life and love differently. And I know that they want you to know how much they do love you still and feel like you are the one that got away from them. What puts a smile on their face is thinking of maybe they could have a, a chance with you again. They look at you um, with a lot of respect. They look back on the memories with you as the ha of like one of the happiest times in their life. Okay, Leo, so this is all very important for you to know because there's a lot of questioning in this person's energy like, will we ever get another chance? Will I get a chance to like prove myself to this person? Because I know that if you were to open that door to them, there is a lot that they want to show you. They're going to do a lot more than they've ever done, like as far as effort. All right, Leo, so that is what I can see in your person's energy for how they are currently feeling about you. So now let's move on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what is going on with your person. How do they feel about you? What do they think of you? What is on their mind? What is in their heart? How do they look at you? Let's see what spirit shows us. Your person is sad. Your person is sad, Taurus. Um, if you walked away from each other recently, if you guys broke up, I mean, they are tr they are so sad. And I just see where they're looking down at everything that has gone wrong. Maybe even everything that they did wrong or like they keep thinking about a lot of negative stuff because they're in this energy of being so sad and of missing you. There's a lot of energy here about, for those of you that were being accused by this person and you know that you weren't doing anything wrong, I can see where they're thinking of, I can't believe like I let my fears, my egos come between us. I can't believe that I, um, push them away like this. So I know that there's a lot of energy here of regretting not trusting you. That's for those of you who are in a situation like that because I see that energy here. For others of you, your person, they keep feeling though, like who are these people that keep coming between you guys? I wonder if they feel, cause no matter how you look at it though, someone, your person feels like they have to compete for you, whether it's like romantically or it's um, compete with uh, either your friends or other family members, that's how they feel. And it's like, they feel like they lose the competition. They feel like they're not a priority. So there is a lot of sadness and I can see where you might have to talk to them. I don't know how long you wanna keep comforting this person. I know that that sounds kind of mean, but I do know that they have a lot of fears and they have a lot of trust issues that they're working on, working on trying to rebuild. But you know, Taurus, if you did something in this connection to make this person lose trust for you, you know, each situation is different because it doesn't change what's here is like lack of trust and but, but not wanting to feel that way, but then feeling like there's competition. So I know where your person definitely feels, no matter how you look at it, they just feel like they're not a priority. 
and that is what they want because truly overall the time that they've had with you has has been a blessing they look at it as a blessing they look at they look at the connection with you um with gratitude because it's been the hap like some of the happiest times of their life they feel this deep connection to you they feel they feel a very deep connection to you i see a lot of past life energy and i see it but the way that your person will see it is like this deep bond to you even if you guys met recently feeling very familiar with one another and like you know each other so well and i i see why it's because of the past life energy that's here so they're sad now um they're in a place where they feel sad that they lost you and they don't know which direction things are going in now they really don't they feel very lost they feel very lost, but I wouldn't expect this person to just be super open and super receptive right now. Cause I do see where they are guarded and that their ego, their ego is gonna get in the way. But I also know that what's needed here is for you guys to talk, especially if you know that no one is coming between you, that you're not listening to what anyone has to say about the two of you being together, that they can trust you. Because there's a, there's a lot of energy of mistakes and broken trust, wanting it to be right, but then feeling like it's not. It's so funny to see these synchronicities here. I wonder if you guys are seeing them this energy is here of 555 five, five. so I wonder if you're seeing the synchronicities around you all right Taurus because it, it's funny because there's so much energy but it's like bouncing from different directions different directions because I know that your person might be bringing things to the table from the past that have nothing to do with you but they might be taking it out on you I know that they don't want to do that, but that doesn't make it okay that they are. Especially if they felt like um, they've uh, been cheated on before and their trust got broken in a major way. I know that they might be um, accusing you, taking things out on you. Because I see that here. And I just see um, where they are right now is that they... I would give them time. I would just give them a little space to think about things because being in this kind of energy, I know that they're not gonna be open and receptive to just having like a peaceful conversation. There's stuff that they need to think about and they feel so indecisive and they just can't sleep lately. But it's not that you can put all of this blame on you because I see that there's things within your person that they need to work on rebuilding. Like the trust, especially, this is especially for those of you that know that nothing has come between you and your person and your person has been really hurt before. Because it's not fair that they put all of this on you. But for those of you that know that certain things came between you and maybe you weren't honest with them and maybe there was some kind of romantic competition or you're just putting things ahead of them, what you're doing is very, very hurtful to your person. Because I know that all they want is to be a priority to you. No matter how you look at it though, that energy is all here. So I can see where they miss you, they are sad, um, but they're also in this energy of, I, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm not gonna let you see me cry. I'm not gonna let you see me be sad, you know? So it's tricky with them right now. It's tricky with them. That's why I'm telling you that you might just wanna give them some more space because I don't see you guys being able to have a, a productive conversation when they're in this mindset and in this energy and having these feelings. Because overall, although they feel this way, their overall energy is like, it's not making them form a grudge. They still look at the connection with you as like the happiest time in their life, but I would just give them the space that they need. Because I know that if you try to initiate a conversation where they already have their mind made up about something, they're gonna just try to win the, the, 
conversation, win the fight at all costs, it's not gonna be productive. That's what I want you to know, Taurus. Okay, you guys? So let's move on to Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look and see. How is your person feeling about you? What are their current feelings? What do they think of you? How do they look at you? What do they feel in their heart for you, Aquarius? Let's take a look and see what is going on with your person. Let's see how they feel. Wow, they, they want to talk to you, but they don't know if you want to talk to them. They, they are so attracted to you. I can see where if you guys have, I wonder if anything has come between you, between the two of you recently, um, because I see this energy of like being closed off, maybe even deciding like, you know what, let's take a break. Give me my space. I'll give you your space. And like, we'll see how we feel in a couple days or whatever. Um, they're tired of just looking at your pictures online. They're tired of just thinking about you, fantasizing about you. They want to see you. They want to see you now. They want you in their arms. They, I mean, there's so much energy here of wanting you. Wanting your heart, yes. Wanting the connection to you, yes. But I mean, like their body is calling for you. There's a lot of uh, sexual energy that's here. Um, so I can see where, the, where they want to make up with you. They want to they wanna make up, they want to come back, they don't want to be apart, they want to hear from you, they want to look into your eyes and talk to you, but they don't know if, um, should I make that move, like, should I reach out, are you going to be open, do you want to hear from me, these are all the questions that they have, um, but it doesn't change how they feel, they're, they're, they feel like you're a bit of a mystery right now and they don't know if you feel this way about them, if you're like yearning for them as well, but they're like, can we just, can we just give it a fresh start? Like, can we just forget about the stupid things that we said? And can we just like take a chance with each other? Cause I know that they're in love with you. Sagittarius energy is here, you guys. So you might have a Sagittarius on your mind or you might have that in your chart. That's, they feel very excited. They feel very motivated. I know that they, um, there's so much that they're holding back that it's really hard for them to hold back from you. And they are only doing that because they don't know if you feel this way about them. They don't know if you want to hear from them. But they, oh my God, they just want to, I see them wanting to just hold you and be in your arms, be in each other's arms, look into each other's eyes. They feel so passionate about you. I mean, they're just so drawn to you. They're so attracted to you. And maybe even being in this kind of break or whatever this is, this space that's come between you guys, I think it made them realize just how crazy they are about you. There's such a strong physical and sexual attraction that's here. But there's also a tenderness to it. Yes, they're crazy about you um, and just super, super attracted to you, but it's not something that is not without feeling because there's a lot of emotion in this chemistry. They feel like you're unmatched, like sexually, uh, the way that they're so attracted to you, no one else makes them feel this way. No one else satisfies them in this way. They've never like wanted someone so bad the way that they want you. I know that they don't want to be alone. They don't want to be apart. And they're like, I don't want to keep looking back at like this stupid thing that came between us. I don't want to look back at it anymore. I just want to look forward. I just want to move forward. I just want a fresh start. So I know that they want to make up, make up. I know that they want to make up with you in a major, major way. And they're just like dying to be face to face with you. 
And then when you guys are face to face, I mean, you just have to be prepared for, it's very, very, very passionate energy that is here. So if this is the first time that you guys have connected sexually, I mean, just, I'm telling you with what they have on their mind and how they feel, next time you guys see each other just be prepared because i see it being like taken to a next level maybe you guys haven't taken it there yet but you will the next time you see each other because i i see you guys making up that's that's the thing i see you guys making up and like taking another chance with each other i know we're looking at how they feel about you but I don't think you're gonna be able to say no because I feel like a lot of this attraction is mutual and you guys are just like in this space of figuring things out. They want to hear from you and you might just feel the same way. Know that I'm not picking up on your energy. So if you feel like that's how I feel, this is what I want to do. It doesn't change that this is how they feel. So you guys just feel the same way. So I wonder if if this will make you want to make a move towards them because i know one of the biggest blockages here coming from your person is that they don't know if because this is about pursuing right very romantic energy um reaching out like the courting and all that they don't know if that's what you want but once they do know it, I mean, there's nothing that you got. I don't see you guys being able to hold back from one another because there's a lot of passion that is here. All right, Aquarius. So that is what is going on with your person. That's how they look at you. That's how they feel. And I know that they keep checking like, all right, where? Like they keep checking and checking. Like did, maybe they reached out to me here. Maybe they wrote to me over here. Uh, let me go see. Cause it's like constantly, constantly looking in, but it's like, they don't want to just um, be a part, you know? Cause a lot of this is like virtual. They don't want that. They want to be able to be face to face with you, to have you in their arms. All right, Aquarius. So let's move on to Libra. Libra, let's take a look and see what is going on with your person. How do they currently feel about you? What is on their mind? How do they look at you? What do they think of you? And how do they feel? How do they feel about Libra? Let's see. So Aries energy is coming through Libra. So you might have uh, Aries in your chart or this person might. So they're like, um, Libra really has their guard up with me. I, I don't know how to get through to them. They feel like you are mad at them to a certain extent, but also that you're being very protective of your heart when it comes to them so i know where this person feels like maybe i should just give you the space that you need it doesn't mean that they want to libra because this person is in love with you i mean super super in love with you two of cups is the energy their overall energy for how they feel they look at you as someone who is like their other half their partner someone that understands them someone that they can be themselves with because they really like believe that overall you guys are kindred spirits and you really do see eye to eye you're so similar in a lot of ways and they feel like i know that you love me and you know that i love you like our bond is strong um, they're very, very committed to you. And I wonder what this is that's come between the two of you because maybe you don't realize how you're coming across to them because they just feel like, oh, let me give you your space. Like, are you in a bad mood? Did I do something wrong? Maybe I'll just stay out of your hair for a little while. Because, you know, this Queen of Swords energy, it's someone who can... Uh, maybe they don't realize how they're coming across because it's like very impatient, can be very short. 
um and it's kind of walking on eggshells like i don't know if did i say something wrong you know because they just feel like your guard is really up with them so because they feel like your guard is up so much if you find that this person is like being distant with you it's only because they want to give you the space that they feel you're asking for because they feel like they feel like you're asking for this space, Libra. So if you know that maybe something's bothering you and you haven't talked about it with your person, you may not realize how you're coming across. Like you might be taking it out on them and maybe you don't intend to because that's how they feel. It doesn't don't worry you're not going to be able to push this person away they're just like okay well that's how you feel now let me just give you your space but you're still mine you're still my path you're still my future i'm still committed to you i mean there's just so much energy here of how serious this person is about you and how they do um they look at their life like the two of you together do you know what I mean, Libra? Like when they look at the future, like when they look at their life from an outside perspective and just think about where they're going and how far they've come, when they look at the future, they see you there. So I can see that what might be coming between you guys now is like maybe they're misinterpreting something from you. Maybe there's a misunderstanding that's here. But don't worry because you guys are in a very strong place. I mean, you have a strong bond. Of course, many lifetimes um, bond the two of you together, your kindred spirits. I know that the two of you would never, never intentionally hurt one another. No, no this is something that's special. And I know that what their intentions are is to have something um, very serious with you. They're very dedicated to you. They're very devoted to you. Okay, Libra. So that's what I can see, of course. I mean, needless to say, the love is here. But it's like, it's love, but it's it's beautiful because it's like, I see where you guys have a friendship. I see where you guys are really yourselves with one another maybe you're the way that you are with this person you've never been that way with anyone else okay libra so so just know that i do see you coming across though as if something is bothering you and they just don't really know if because what your person okay if you find that they're like distancing from you and that's not what you want your person in their mind they think like oh this is the right thing to do that this is what's going to fix things you know if if they're in that like energy let me just give them the space that they need so your person thinks that they're doing what you want them to do and if you are in this energy and you know that maybe sometimes you push someone away when you want them the most that is kind of backfiring on you and i don't say that to like be mean but with the bond that the two of you have this is someone that you can open up to this is someone that's not going to judge you they're never going to judge you or hold anything against you this is someone that you can this is a divine connection and this person is in your life so you can feel safe so you can open up so if there is something that's bothering you, um, I would advise you to open up and talk to your person about it because they might have some really good advice to give you. And if you find that they're like pulling away from you, you kind of have to look at yourself and maybe how you're being with them. Were you short with them? Did you maybe say something that you didn't mean out of like being frustrated or being angry about something else? But regardless, this is a bond that your person feels is so strong that no matter how moody you might be or no matter what it is that comes between you guys from time to time, they're, they're not going to break this bond with you. They're very devoted to you. They're very committed to you. And um, they just feel like, well, let me give you space right now. Cause they think that giving you space is what you really want. And if it's not what you want, Libra, it's really important for you to open up to your person. Cause they are someone that you can trust. All right, you guys. So let's move on to last but not least Scorpio. Let's take a look and see Scorpio. How is your person feeling about you? What is on their mind? 
what is in their heart how do they look at you and a connection to you let's see how do they feel So Sagittarius energy is here, Scorpio. So you might have that in your chart or this person that you have on your mind could have that energy in their chart. I know that part of them feels like, do I offer enough? Do I bring enough to the table? Can you picture yourself being with me? I know that you have someone here that might feel like you're not in the same league and they kind of wonder like do i have enough to offer this scorpio i know that you have had a really good influence on them because i see the way that you motivate this person you motivate them to to be better to do better to achieve more to to kind of blossom and grow into the best person that they can be and it makes them admire you. You make them feel very embraced. I mean, I can see where you've had a really, really positive influence on this person. You've warmed, you've warmed their heart. I can see where before they were in a place where they always felt really misunderstood kind of felt lonely, kind of felt like they were never really a part of things. And this is someone who has always longed to just belong, you know, to just maybe even be popular, be accepted. And because of the way that they look at you and how much they admire you, in a, in a way, they kind of want to be like you. So it's of the utmost positivity because they look at you as someone who makes themselves like they look at you and like, I want to be better. I want to be more like Scorpio. So, I mean, such a positive influence that you've had. But I also know that it kind of brings about insecurities as well in this person because they think, um, well, do I even have enough to offer them? That, that's how they feel. That's what they're thinking. Wondering if you if you can picture a future with them. They have a they have a lot of doubts. So if it's funny, Scorpio, because I wonder if some of you are wondering like why this person is not making like more of a move towards you. Why they're like, you know, taking little baby steps with you, why they haven't made a commitment to you. It's kind of funny, but it's because they do wonder like, am I good enough? Do I have enough to offer? It's not because they don't like you. It's not because they don't want something serious with you. Cause I see where there's all of these thoughts, all of these thoughts of the future, all of these thoughts of commitment um, and what could be. But I also see a lot into what holds them back. So if you know, like, that you guys maybe grew up differently and you're in different places in life or you're not in the same league, like, you know, cliche, same league, and you don't care about those things, they're definitely looking at it and 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 it's what holds them back, okay? So it's, it's just very important for you guys to know that because I see all of that in their energy. I see what they want, but then I see how they stop themselves from feeling like they could give you what you deserve. So that is why they haven't, you know, taken things to the next level. But it doesn't mean that they aren't. They're so grateful. They're so grateful for the way that you just include them. The way that you are so warm and so kind to them. And you just make them want to be everything that they can because they know that you de you deserve that maybe they feel like you deserve so much more than they can give you right now 
because I just see the energy where they do feel like they're lacking. Um, and I don't say that to put this person down, but if you are wondering like, why hasn't the commitment come and you are looking at this person through different eyes and just you see for yourself everything that you um, believe that they have, just because you see it, it doesn't mean that they see it within themselves. You know what I mean, Scorpio? Because you might look at them like, they're amazing and that they've accomplished so much. But then when they look at themselves, it's it's different. They don't look at themselves like that. So this is really what holds them back a lot. I do wonder like, what is it that they've gone through? Cause I just see this long history of always feeling like they're on the outside, like an outsider. Never, I wonder if they're maybe introverted and they just felt like they never really found their place with you. They've never felt so welcome. They've never felt, they've never felt so welcome. So I know that there's like a, a bond that's forming between you and this person. And it's like deep within their heart. Even though they might not have done a lot so far, like romantically, you are already holding such a special place in their heart. And I know that what they have on their mind is a commitment. What they have on their mind is the future, but they just wanna make sure that they can give you what you deserve and that they want to know that you will be satisfied with them and that you won't you know, end up walking away from them because they can't fulfill everything that they feel you deserve. So it's funny because I know that this person cares a lot about you and your well-being and like what they can bring to you. So they kind of get in their own way, especially if you want this commitment, you wanna be with them right now. They, they do that a lot, they get in their own way. Um, so I don't want you to think that with the way that they hold back, that it's because they don't want something very serious with you because they do and they are so grateful to you. Okay, Scorpio, so I can see a lot of, pos there's a lot of positive energy that's here. Um, maybe things just need to play out as they should because your person is someone who is kind of still finding themselves, finding um, where they belong, where they're going. So, I mean, I know everyone is a work in progress, but with your person, that energy is very present around them. And I know that it will make them take things slower. All right, Scorpio. So that is what I can see for you guys for how your person is feeling. All right, you guys, so that is what I have for you for their current feelings. Thank you so much for being here with me and watching the video. If you enjoyed your reading, please give it a thumbs up, comment and share. I love you guys so much. I send you all much love and light and I will talk to you soon.